So MSR came to me uh, with this product. Looks like this. It's called the Guardian Water Purifier. I'm Scott Rickenberger. I'm a photographer and adventurer from Seattle. So they came to me and asked me for a good way to uh, tell this story visually of uh, just how fantastic and game-changing this is. So we came up with this idea, that we would come down to Peru and from the time we landed throughout the course of a big trek in the Cordillera Blanca Mountains and all the way back to taking off from Lima, and the entire time this Guardian filter will be our sole water source. That means no buying bottled water and filtering any water we can find throughout the course of our travels through this device. Throughout the course of it, we're gonna make a video, take photos, and tell the story of what this device can do. Hi, my name is Steve. I'm a design engineer with MSR in Seattle. Uh, today we're in Juarez, Peru, and what we're doing here for the next 13 days is we are introducing the new MSR Guardian. It is a water purifier, so it takes out virus, bacteria, and protozoa. A lot of times when I'm traveling in foreign countries, I'm tied to having a reliable water source, and that can sometimes mean being able to get to a grocery store to buy a bottle of water or jugs of water. It can also mean that certain places are off limits for camping and or trekking. So a big advantage for the global traveler, the trekker, is that it just opens up so many more opportunities for where you can go and where you can safely get water. So as I'm traveling, I don't have to worry about where I'm getting my water from. The first water source we had was the, the sink in our hotel room in uh, Lima. And to be perfectly honest, having traveled internationally quite a bit and having always heard and always practiced the sort of fundamental religion, don't drink the local water, uh, even purifying the water out of the hotel room sink was a little bit uh, disconcerting for me. This is the old bag in the sink trick. Sometimes you gotta be a little creative how to actually collect water. So being the first guy to take a sip out of it, it was kind of fun to see everyone go, okay, well, the guy that made it's drinking it, so I guess maybe it's okay. Delicious. Steve, how fast is that thing? Uh, about two and a half liters a minute. So an algae in maybe 25 seconds or so. Little less. The first time drinking from the water sources, especially here in Huaraz, that are uh, where you're just watching sewage and the most gross water being pumped into these uh, rivers, mud, muck, donkey urine, people just literally throwing their trash, their morning trash, uh, into the river, feeling like, whew, this is the real deal, actually going for it, and really feeling like the Guardian did a, a truly fantastic job of actually making this water safe to drink for me and for our crew here. So the biggest advantage of the MSR Guardian is it filters out virus, bacteria, and protozoa every time. So you don't have to worry about where you are, what you're pumping out of. All you need to know is that this pump is taking out every microbiological hazard that you could have. On the trek, we drank out of fields completely littered with cow pies, donkeys roaming, dogs, llamas, sheep, you name it. Everything was out there and it was all going right into the water source. Estamos limpiando ese agua con esta máquina porque esta se hace puro, el agua. What'd she say about the water? That it's dirty. She's saying that the water's dirty. She kept saying how, like, oh, this water's too dirty. You can't, you can't drink this water. So the thing about hollow fibers that make them a really good uh, filter media is that it is basically an exclusion device. We sized the, the hollow fibers. They have small pores in them that the water is filtered through. If those pores are smaller than any virus, which is the smallest microbiological contaminant we can have, if they're smaller than that, nothing can get through. You don't have to rely on chlorine, iodine tabs, granular activated carbon to absorb the potential contaminants. It simply blocks them out. They can't fit through the pores, so they can't get into your water. The coolest part about the engineering of the MSR Guardian is the usability and the durability. There's no back flushing, there's no uh, processes to keep it clean. All you have to do is take it out, use it, and put it away. There's nothing else required. So we are just on the descent of day three. We just climbed from our first camp all the way up to a ridge at about 15,600 feet, which we had plenty of water to do that, but we found out we needed a lot of water to deal with the altitude. And so we were kind of on a mission to get water as fast as we possibly could. And the first thing we came on was a really muddy, sludgy puddle that definitely was surrounded by cow droppings and evidence of animals. Literally, you couldn't see through it. It was so gross and so gnarly. 
So we just pumped uh, the Guardian out of probably one of the worst, dirtiest water sources we've found so far. So the cool thing about this thing is we designed it to be able to be cleaned while you're pumping. So your pre-filter is here to keep your pump from having to do all the work, but it does become clogged. But the nice thing is, a couple of quick swishes and it's back and good to go. Normally, you wouldn't use a pump in that situation unless you were absolutely desperate. But with the Guardian, the crux of the design is that it's self-cleaning. So every time we're pumping it, it's actually cleaning that dirt back out of the filter and it's not all just staying in there. The black sludgy water that was coming into the filter was actually getting pumped out. So you could actually see the intake of all the gnarliness and then you could actually see it being flushed out with the self-cleaning mechanism. Without that mechanism, the whole filter would become completely clogged in just a few liters. But we were able to pull enough water for the team and the pump is still working great. So another cool thing about the pre-filter is that it doesn't actually have to be all the way underwater to work. Right now it's actually working very well. And the reason that is, is once this bag becomes wet, it doesn't allow air to come through the bag. So all you have to do is have a portion of it underwater and it'll actually draw. So you can pull from bad sources like this that aren't very deep. I trust it because at MSR we're all engineers. We put this product through the ringer. We have drop tested it, we have crush tested it, we have frozen it, we have put it through numerous challenges of virus and bacteria levels higher than you would find in a sewage plant and we have never seen virus or bacteria or protozoa pass through. So the key benefits for the Guardian Purifier for a global traveler or trekker is environmental and economical where I don't have to buy any bottled water as I travel. This saves me money as I travel, and I'm also not adding waste. This trip was unique in the fact that I didn't have to think about water, and I didn't have to think about getting sick. Um, I did notice, though, all the plastic waste that was in the streets, that were in the rivers, um, that were on people's backpacks, and it just definitely opened my eyes to the fact that I used to be that kind of traveler, but now with the Guardian, I don't have to be that traveler anymore and I'm super psyched that they are leaving me with the unit as I get to continue traveling South America for the next six months. I feel like I have got my water sources dialed and don't need to worry about where I'm getting my water. So to be honest, the people back home are uh, a little bit suspect of me heading down to Peru and uh, using just this and drinking any water we come across. But I'm so confident in this product because I've been working with MSR for a number of years and I've never had an equipment failure. So when MSR hands me a product and says that it works, I trust that it works.